the judgment of the great harlot. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying, Come here, and I will show unto you the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman, drunken with the blood of the saints. And when I saw her, I wondered with great wonderment. And the angel said unto me, Why did you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns, the beast that you saw, which was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition, and they that dwell upon the earth shall wander, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. And here is the mind that has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains, on which the woman sits. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue only a short while. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goes into perdition. And the ten horns which you saw are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he said unto me, The waters which you saw, where the great whore sits, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God has put it in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God are fulfilled. The woman which you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth, Babylon. After these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened by his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double, according to her works, in the cup which she has filled, fill to her, double. How much she has glorified herself, and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give to her. 
for she said in her heart, I said a queen, and I am no widow, and I shall see no sorrow. Therefore her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Strong is the Lord God who judges her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in only one hour your judgment has come, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys her merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all precious wood and all manner vessels of ivory, all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and of cinnamon and odors, that is, fragrances and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and lives of men, and the fruits that your soul or your life lusted after have departed from you, and all things which were dainty and goodly have departed from you, and you shall find them no more at all. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, they shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city which clothed the people in fine linen and scarlet and purple and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to nothing. And every shipmaster, and all that company, in ships, sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off. And they cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust upon their head. And they cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein we were all made rich! and all that had ships by the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, you heaven, and you holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers, and musicians, and pipers, and trumpeters shall no more be heard in you at all. And no craftsman, of whatsoever craft he shall be, shall be found no more in you. And the sound of the millstone shall not be heard in you at all any more. And the light of a candle shall not shine any more at all in you. And the voices of bridegroom and bride shall no more be heard at all in you. For your merchants were the great men of the earth. For by your sorceries were all nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God, for true and righteous are his judgments. For he has judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and has avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and you that fear him, both small and great. 
And as I heard it, I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of many thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he said unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said, See that you don't do this. I am your fellow servant, and of your own brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him is called Faithful and True. And in righteousness does he judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name was called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come, gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. So the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeds out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold upon the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should not deceive the nations any more until the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loose for a little season. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls, the lives of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, who loved not their own lives unto death. And for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power, but instead they shall be kings and priests. They shall be priests of God and of Christ, 
and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which were in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up upon the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints round about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet were cast, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, both small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be their God, and be with them. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, Neither shall there be any pain any more, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these things are true and faithful. It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the whoremongers, and the sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came one unto me, one of the angels, one of the seven, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and he talked with me, saying, Come here, and I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit, to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. The city had a great wall, and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. The city lies four square, the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed twelve thousand furlongs.
and the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof a hundred and forty-four cubits according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall was of jasper, and the city was of pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundation of the wall of the city were all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was of jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth a sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth chrysoprasus, the eleventh a jacinth, and the twelfth an amethyst. And the twelve gates were made of twelve pearls. Every gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was made of pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did light it and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor to it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall be no thing that enters into it that defiles, neither whatsoever works abomination or makes a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, there was a tree of life which bore twelve manner of fruits, and it yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be written in their foreheads. And there shall no more night be there. And they shall have no need of a candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. The Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel which showed me these things. And he said unto me, See that you do not do it, for I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his works. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates of the city. For outside are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, and whoever loves and makes a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, 
And let him that hears say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add to these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He who testifies these things said, Surely I come quickly. So be it. Even so come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And that, my friends, is the end of the book of Revelation. We have a marvelous future thanks to Jesus.